Hello, how are you doing? Hope you had a good weekend. It's time for five things we learned from the weekend's action. From a weekend when there wasn't really a lot of action, but it's okay, I found five things, so let's crack on. The first thing we learned this weekend is that Jamie Carragher hates Jamie Redknapp. Yes, on Super Sunday this week, the two former Liverpool players were pundits and Carragher was making a point when Redknapp jumped in and interrupted him. One behind, so they caused him a problem and then you come and win the ball behind. He was looking like he was doing the centre-back's job, but I, I think you're doing too, respect, too much respect by doing that though. By playing that position, I think you're almost saying, giving you're a player too much respect. Absolutely because you're asking for trouble. That there is the face of a man who's down the pub with an Arsenal fan and accidentally brings up the subject of Arsene Wenger. But it's not the first time that Redknapp has done that to Carragher. This happened back in May when the two of them were talking to Leicester's Danny Drinkwater. When you thought, you know what? We can do this. We can actually win the Premier League. Or is it probably just now when you're still part of it next to that trophy? <laughs> A friend of mine has worked with Jamie Redknapp in the past and said apparently he's a really nice guy, but clearly he has a problem with interrupting people. And too, respect, too much respect by doing For f sake, Jamie, stop it! <laughs> and now we come to the worst football banner of all time. Just in case you weren't sure what game you were watching. Probably shouldn't be too harsh here, it's only a kid. Although clearly his mum or dad had printed that out for him. Although now that this has gone viral, apparently he's been snapped up by Arsenal fans. Speaking of which... It was another game, another protest by Arsenal fans. In the week they protested before the home leg against Bayern Munich, which they went on to lose 5-1 again. And at the weekend they marched through the streets protesting against Wenger before their FA Cup game with Lincoln City. This has become a stable part of the Arsenal fan match day experience now. And to be honest, I'm just shocked to see so many Arsenal fans standing and singing at the same time. It's a miracle. The fourth thing we learned this weekend is... Too, respect, too much respect. Jamie, shut up! I can see why Carragher gets so annoyed. The fourth thing we learned this weekend is quite a serious one. A PSG fan was guilty of killing his friend who mocked him over the defeat to Barcelona during the week. This is when Barcelona came back from 4-0 down in the first leg and conceding an away goal in the second leg to win 6-5 on aggregate for the last minute goal from Sergio Roberto. It was one of the most amazing comebacks and one of the most rare things to happen in football. And mate, if I did that every time Palace embarrassed me, I wouldn't have any friends left, which is probably what it's like being a Millwall fan. And finally, we have the dive of the season from this Hearts fan during their game with Hamilton at the weekend. Ably assisted by this guy, probably his mate, I'm assuming, giving him a little push over the barriers. Apparently, he's been signed up by Barcelona already. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below with what you learned from the weekend's football. Drop a like on the video. And if you haven't yet already, subscribe. I'm off to... Jamie!